Hello everybody, welcome to the United Way. Happy New Year for those of you uh, who are just coming in here in New Year. In this video, guys, as you see on the thumbnail, um, Mark Tomini um, has uh, found interest from uh, Newcastle. I just want to ask you guys, guys, so uh, because because my channel here, yeah, actually what I do, uh, which other channels don't really do, is I try to discuss these topics and listen to you guys because you you need to put your input and so you guys should tell me what you think about this news as they develop. You know, for the past, honestly, for the past weeks, right, before the World Cup, we have been hearing that Manchester United, Manchester United is uh, are not going to buy players in January. Why? Because we don't have money, right? That the Glazers want to sell. The Glazers don't want to invest in Manchester United. We cannot create money. We cannot create funds for our club. We spent, we bought um, Anthony for 100 million euros. That's why we can buy. But uh, we, at the back of it, and um, we have to really understand that we have lost uh, three attackers and we haven't even replaced any of them. No, I mean, Ronaldo just left. And we haven't replaced him. So, and uh, that, that Manchester United are trying to go for loaners, right? And uh, since when we understood that we will not be able to bring in Gakpo, who is obviously an attacker, um, utility attacker who can play everywhere, the biggest topic has been how do we raise money to bring a player like um, Joao Felix from uh, Atletico Madrid? So, uh, I just want to tell you guys one of the ways we can do so, right? I think the biggest problem we have. I think the biggest problem we have in Manchester United is the structure of the club. I think I've said, I mean, most of us have said this a lot because ultimately, in order to raise money, you always have to sell. So guys, please, uh, if you're jumping in, please make sure you smash the like on the body on the video. Click the like button, uh, support the video, subscribe if you want to be getting these daily information about United. We have this uh, very uh, uh, more or less, uh, you know, interactive content, which we need your input as well. As we are not journalists, transfer journalists, we are fans reacting to fans news. So we have uh, from people like uh, very credible uh, transfer journalists uh, that Manchester United uh, player McTominay, who's 26, he will be soon, who has played uh, over 100 games, 132 to be specific games for Manchester United and um, uh, has a uh, fan interest uh, from uh, Manchester to uh, from, uh, Newcastle. Newcastle is a team that has always been uh, trying to uh, move to another level. At the present moment, we are at an equal number of points with Newcastle. We know they are backed by Saudi government. We know they have the funds. And uh, they, uh, the, the, the article says that one of the articles says that they are ready to give £30 million pound for Mark Tomini. Well, I don't know if Manchester United are going to sell the player because, you know, I, for many of you who don't understand the way Manchester United works as a team, the culture, the team has always been very reluctant to sell players that they are from the, the academy. A good example uh, is uh, like Wayne Rooney. If a player isn't totally finished, United will not go. Or if a player doesn't push for a move, United will, are not ready to sell. So in this situation, I think it would depend a lot on McTominay if McTominay wants to go. It will really depend on McTommy. But, but depending on whatever thing happens to McTommy's funeral future of Manchester United, um, I just want to ask you guys, do you think McTominay should be sold? And I don't want a yes or no answer. I want you to tell me why you think McTominay should be sold because I I'm going to tell you immediately why I think he should leave. The reason is, since when we acquired the 70 million uh, the, uh, Casemiro, who has revolutionized our midfield, McTominay has been... I mean, bench, basically, yes, he had an injury. He could not be match fit. But even if he's match fit, he will be a peripheral um, uh, figure in uh, Old Trafford. So I think the situation which Manchester United need to put themselves is try to be very, I would say, flexible, very, I mean, adventurous. I like using this word adventurous because you need to try new things. Um in order to get results but uh unfortunately we uh managed not only by the glazers but mostly i think people like uh old school uh agents who, uh, who don't really understand that you need to take out one in order to bring in maybe potentially two um, we have seen situations in 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 past that where um players have, have i mean clubs have pathway with players good players because they understood that they have to generate money uh, in order to, to balance the book, I will tell you, yes, Sadio Mane wanted to leave Newcastle, that, and he wanted to leave Liverpool, sorry. 
But uh, Liverpool sold this for Sadio Mane with a one-year contract for like for almost 40 something million euros. And um, it's not because Liverpool really wanted Sadio Mane to leave. It's because they understood, okay, we won't kill the contract. We need to generate funds. So my point is that Manchester United should be finding a way on players with value. We have had some also information coming about also Barcelona being interested in taking Fred, who is not a... Uh, which is another utility player in the midfield. The question also is that when we sell this player, who should we bring to replace them? But that would be only if we de Manchester United decide to sell the player. You see what I'm trying to say? But let's put it, let's do some hypothetical here. Let's say if Manchester United agrees to sell McTominay to Newcastle, how does that help Manchester United? We are trying to raise body, um, raise, uh, finance to to bring in an attacker which we have been told the glazers don't have money to invest to buy this attacker and what at the, uh, the attacker is um joy felix look at this i just want to tell you guys something what the question is what do alentico madrid want from joy felix the deal with joe felix alentico, alentico wants a team that can pay his full salary which is from now to the end of the season that's six million and also can pay for his transfer, which is eight million, to the end of the season. You see where it's coming from. So it would cost how much? Uh, two points. It would be like 40, 40, 14 million for well, yeah, yeah, the pounds in generally. So that is where that's the position in which in the deal. But you see, I've just brought to selling McTominay is like bringing in uh, this thirty million pounds in into the coffers, and that's good. And one of the reasons why I think McTominay to be sold is simple. The reason is. Manch McTominay will never be that key player for Manchester United. The only reason why you see McTominay uh, being active in Manchester United because it's a player that came through the system, a player that was um, formed by Manchester United. And we, we, of we often do uh, respect and protect our players that we, I mean, that we brought them. We have seen this with the Scorsi, but this were just on a different level. But I think uh, if it was, uh, say Alex Ferguson, he will sell if he, when he understands uh, when, um, when the, bo the books are balanced. Because I remember saying, uh, um, uh, players like Cleverly being sold. I remember players like, like Danny Fletcher being sold, especially when we event invest. But I think we do have a manager here in Eric Tengnak, which is, he is not a British guy. You guys should put that into consideration. It's easy for you and me, we are not Brits, it's pretty for you and me to criticize Manchester United, but we are not on the ground. But uh, you know the way the British do respond to their talents in general. And if you're not a British man uh, manager, you are not really well, um, you're not really well, uh, I, will, I don't want to say you're hated or not liked, but I want to say you are not well supported by the local media. So this is something that Ten Hag knows. Ten Hag might get, make decisions about his players on the lineup, and uh, um, and yeah, he they can he, may, he might make decisions players on the lineup and uh, for for the board to see and decide how to go about this. So guys, this is my situation with Ten Hag, with uh, 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 McTominay. I just want to ask you guys to tell me what you think about McTominay. I don't know if you think McTominay should be sold to generate money, not only for for um. For, for for the for the acquisition of uh, Joe Felix, but also because we need to clear out Deadwood, Deadwood, which he is not Deadwood. We need to clear out players who are not really impactful. For Man Manchester United, McTominay. I will I wouldn't say he's not. He hasn't been impactful, but I just want to say he has been. Uh, he he would never be a key player for for Man. He would never wi help Manchester United, Manchester United win something. Because he just lacks that that extra urge in order to be to be a top top player. If you see what I mean, so uh, tell me what you guys think below about Mark Tommy. You think we should sell him or you think we should let him go? Drop your comments below. I'm ready to reply your comments personally. And uh, guys, uh, please make sure you smash a like on the video if you learned this. And uh, if you like this video, you like the next one, which is about another player, which uh, we have been told uh, we have been told, and the media has been coming out and saying here yeah, he has to leave. In this series of videos, we'll be talking a lot about players in which has to leave. They have to leave Manchester United for us to generate cash because we are seeing a new. Um, 
a new uh, wave of um, activities going to Manchester United, which is positive, uh, brought by Ten Hag. Eric Ten Hag has to impose his system. In order to do that, he needs to bring in the players that he wants them to be that are going to play. Football has moved on from being very emotional, taking only your own, our players, um, rather than uh, going in for players who will actually do the job. So, guys, thanks a lot for this. Uh, uh, stars, uh, watching the video, if you did up to now, you're a legend. Again, Happy New Year. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.